uh, I'm one, uh, that one lucky Kenyan. A lucky Kenyan who had a chance to be served by one of the finest and committed leader. I met uh, uh, the late president uh, in, uh, when I was in high school, uh, their boys, uh, and when he was the, the vice president of this country. Uh, I interacted with him strongly because uh, I, was, I was a school captain and every time he came, he could always uh, ask for the school captain and we could share a word. I could have a chance to walk him around the school. And yes, that's how uh, lucky I was because he did inspire me a lot, uh, especially uh, in leadership. And uh, from there, I was still lucky because uh, when he became uh, the president of this country, he did request me to uh, to oversee uh, his uh, work in Odaya uh, in development, and I was uh, I became the chair of Odaya Development Association, and as a chairman of Odaya Development Association, I was able to coordinate uh, his activities, uh, political and social, uh, in Odaya uh, on his behalf. So, he, he, yes, he became my great mentor, uh, my great inspiration, and uh, finally he did actually request me uh, to join political leadership. And he took me around, uh, he guided me uh, on how it works. And yes, today I'm happy serving uh, the people of Odaya, who are also uh, uh, very kind to give me a chance to serve them and demonstrate the kind of uh, uh, mentorship that uh, the late president uh, has given to me. Uh, the late president uh, was a man of few words, was a man of great intellect, great intellect and wisdom. And uh, any word that came from him meant a lot and uh, I benefited from that. Uh, any, uh, any sharing with him, any interaction with him, uh, always, I always took advantage of it to learn more and to know especially how to serve. If I come on the side of service to the people, I think he's unmatched. He's unmatched because uh, every time he wanted you to do something, he didn't take anything less than perfect. Uh, for, you to, for him to accept that yes, we'll go this route, first he used to tell you, no, kama unataka tufanye, unajua lazima ufikilie, lazima uadike, na basi, tutafanya. So he's, he had a way of working. You have to sit down and convince him what you're saying that we do, you have thought through it. You don't just wake up one day and say, let's do this. You have thought through it. Then after thinking, you had to write and say, this is how it will be done. If you want a road to be done, you have to know you need an engineer, you need a, a, a designer of that road, then you, that road must go through the chief engineer roads. Then that road then must be conceptualized and done. But you can't just say we'll do a road and go and tell him we'll do that road. You must go down there, you tell him this is how many kilometers we'll do tarmac or maram. This is how much it will cost because you already got a big queue. And from there, yes, we'll proceed and do it. When he served as a president, uh, first he always uh, used to remind us in Odaya, he's a president of Kenya. And uh, anytime, you know, I used to walk in there with a lot of demands from his people. And he could just remind me, remember, I have the big country. So, iyo, nawe utasaidia. And uh, he was very selfless, selfless, and he thought about everybody. He thought about everybody. Uh, in fact, when I go to Marisabit, everybody tell me, yeah, you know, we became Kenyans because of Rais Mwaikibaki. He's the one who brought us this road. 
he went you go to Moyale he's the one who constructed the first road to Moyale so he thought about the country as a whole and that is why he kept telling me for their people you are the one who will have to help them that's a very deep question very deep question uh, one we would do, we are all saying obviously the timing of his death is not good for Kenyans but you know uh, the, 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 the diary for when we exit this world is kept at another level. That's, that's God's wish. It's not our wish. So we have to accept it because it's, it's the will of God. But what we can do as leaders of this country is to reflect on what our president would have wished for this country. We reflect and agree, yes, we are doing elections. We would like to have peaceful elections. We would like, he was a peaceful man. He loved peace. Why shouldn't we commit as leaders to have peaceful elections? This is one man who hated a lot of noise, a lot of bickering, a lot of uh, matusi. Why shouldn't we desist from the, that kind of politics of insulting one another, of ridiculing each other? Why shouldn't we change and respect our leaders so that we honor him because the way to honor him is not to come and just give a tribute the way to honor him is for us to carry on his values he was a man of great virtues and values why don't we commit to internalize and uh, carry on with those values values of respecting one another values of working for our people because he kept saying uh, leadership is not a chance to glorify ourselves. Leadership is a chance to serve others. It's a chance to improve the lives of others. Why don't we, as leaders, commit to improve the lives of our citizens? Yangu ni kupea familia, watu wa udaya na wa Kenya kwa jumla, rabirabi zangu, wa kumpoteza kiongozi kiongozi ambaye ni baba yetu kiongozi ambaye ameshika zote mkono kiongozi ametuongoza kwa inchi mpaka akatupeleka bere zote kwa familia poleni na kwa kila mtu na ningeoba kwa wakati huu ambao uh, tunamkubuka mzee tungeomba wa Kenya kila mkenya afikilie na ajiulize kama yale tunasema ya mzee kwa kuodoka kwa hii dunia yeye yeah, akiodoka tutasema hayo tutasema hayo manake kuna mengi ya kuiga kutoka kwa mzee kuna mengi tunaweza jifunza na tuyaige kama wa Kenya hasa kwa viongozi kujua kuongoza watu sio kujitakia maku kuongoza watu sio kujitafutia wewe mtu binafsi tujue mzee aliongoza kwa kutojipenda kabisa aliongoza akifikiria kila mtu kuna watoto wengi walienda shule sababu mzee alitupea masone, masomo ya bure na watoto wengi waka, wakawa wanaenda shule mzee alitoa nafasi nyingi za kazi kwa kila mkenya mzee ndiye alitufungulia nchi akashika ncha nchi kutoka mandera kupaka maramba kila pahali kwa kuwanjengea wa Kenya barabara tukikumbuka mzee ali alipata ali nchi kutoka kwa mwenzake ikiwa nchi imeporwa kabisa ina kitu na mzee akaendelea kujenga ushumi wa nchi na akajenga nchi ambao kila mmoja tuwajifunia leo. Kwa hivyo kama viongozi kuna mengi tunaweza uh, kuiga kutoka kwa mzee na itusaidie kutumikia uh, uh, kutumikia uh, wanjiko kutumikia mkenya mwenzetu.